was originally the leather capital of the world, and so it kind of started as a small town community off of the railroad tracks, and so it's kind of kept that flavor as far as Main Street, and so it really has that sense of really community and kind of the hometown flavor, you know, small town. One of the things that this little town does, it gets behind the school system and the sports and makes sure that they have everything that they need to succeed. Three dollars for adults and one for Buford City School students. I'm here to see the Wolves win. Good luck for Buford tonight. They're, they're facing a 4 0 team just like them, so I'm hoping them to win. Tonight we are playing Columbia and they are the 3A state champs from last year. Uh, Columbia is going to come in here very confident and uh, they're going to come in with a good team, well coached and do a lot of things. So uh, I like playing good teams. I like challenges. The first half was a, was a war. It was a battle back and forth. I thought we had a good first quarter. I think everyone did a great job of just coming out and playing hard. After our game is over, we go into the stands and we um, tell everyone thank you for coming, even if we don't know them. For a while, Buford girls did not have like fan support. Now you look up in the stands, it'd be parents and a couple family members of the players and that was it. And now a bunch of fans just come to watch us play and just come to support us. And um, it's just good to show appreciation. That's the way to, to raise a team definitely to give back and to go out there and mingle. To always never think that you're too big to say hi or thank your fans for coming out and supporting you. We started playing against the boys around the Christmas tournament. Boys are, you know, they're boys. They're gonna play boy basketball. They're gonna be stronger, you know, they're gonna be taller than a lot of the girls that we have on the team. So it gives us a great chance to work against, you know, a, a tough opponent. Practicing against the boys, you can't get away with the things you can get away with an average girl team. Oh my gosh, you come out here with boys. There was a 90% scoring rate, buddy. They didn't get it on the shot. They got it on the one. Get your butts out. Uh, it's the JumpOffPlus.com Holiday Invitational, you know, presented by Peach State Basketball. We've been fortunate to get some of the best teams from around the southeast region and around the country. Obviously, Buford comes in top 10 nationally ranked. When you talk about Buford, obviously you immediately go to you know, Tennessee Verbal Commitments, Andrea Carter, 2012, ranked number three in her class nationally by the JumpOffPlus.com. Also, Kayla Davis, number one in her class, 2013. This is going to be a tournament where we're going to find out whether you're ready to produce and do the things it's going to take. Rankings are what other people think about you. There's only one ranking that's important. Do you know what that is? The one at the end. Get focused. In Kentucky, you know, there's no classification. So if you are a state runner-up, you're definitely a good team.
I'ma quit before I die, dream on. If you thinking I'ma quit before I die, dream on. Many thinking I'ma quit before I die, dream on. Thinking I'ma quit, dream on, dream on. Thinking I'ma quit before I die, dream on. If you thinking I'ma quit before I die, dream on. Many thinking I'ma quit before I die, dream on. Thinking I'ma quit, dream on, dream on. We knew that they had a, a particular wing player that was a very good player. Our goal with, with her was to keep around 10 to 15 points and we just got 21, so hats off to her. Everybody stepped up, so I think it just shows that we're a team. We're the crowd of Crunk, and we're here to bring the Crunk. You up! You up! You got it! We're wearing our nerdy glasses, neon sports bras, and crazy socks. Coach Summit came to watch, and when you look up and see your future coach, you want to impress them. And, and uh, Kayla Davis really showed out, and Andrea did too. Rebounding, I think that may have been her top rebounding night. She had double figures, had 11 rebounds that night. Did a little bit of everything. The girl gets out on a fast break and Andrea, nobody looks like they're gonna catch her and Andrea just runs her down and just, just smashes it. do uh, in the future is get a uh, cardboard uh, figure of Coach Summit and put them in stands and we don't have to worry about it. She first started playing basketball and we were like, oh gosh, like bless her heart, what are we going to do? Okay, we got to find something else. <laughs> I, I was a cheerleader. Um, I was a bossy cheerleader. I was like the bossiest little one out there. Cheerleading was expensive and basketball was expensive, so my parents were like, pick one. You know, thank God I chose basketball. Just when she was six years old, she told us, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play in the Olympics and I'm gonna get a, a scholarship to the University of Tennessee. And I looked at my husband, I was like, isn't that cute? Like, that's cute, you know? And we just never thought, you know, but she, sets these goals and she reaches them. I want to be one of the best. I like working hard. I like, I guess I like the feeling that like, when I, when I accomplish something, I want to know I worked for it. Maya, Maya. This is my dog, um, Maya, named after Maya Moore. I look to Maya as like, just the like player I want to be. I want like, I want to play like Maya does. She's just, Every year she's better than she was before. And that's that's hard when everyone already thinks you're the best. Rec League, um, this is my first trophy. Uh, my first medal, different AAU uh, state medals and stuff like that. This is the ball I got um, when I scored a thousand. But this is probably the most important and my like favorite part. My Youth Olympics experience um, last August. It was, and still is, the best experience of my life. Um, we got bronze, which I'd like to change that um, if I could, but it still doesn't take away from 
anything that I experienced. Everybody that watches Andrea sees from basketball talent. That's not the best thing about Andrea Carter. The best thing about Andrea Carter is what, what type of young lady she is. I, I say that to everybody. I know people get sick of me saying it, but character-wise, academic-wise, I mean, she's a total package. Please be with us tonight and help us represent you as we're out there. This I think using basketball to you know, show God, show my relationship with Him, and then just to connect with people and just inspire people and, um, you know, be a good representative for the game, I think is something I have, like, as a goal of mine. Masha, to the lady was. People. Hey, Woo, we're, we're, going, we're going to the ship today. Woo. We're going to the ship. Woo. They want you. They want to show today that they are better than you. You got to fight for it today. Bless both these teams. Keep all players from injury. Help us to do our best. We don't ask for a win. We ask that we would be the class program that represents you. Guard them how you're supposed to guard them. Switch your hand off stuff. Block out. Well, I'm probably going to press. All right, throw through that thing. The point guard wreaked havoc on us everywhere. She, she was the one. She stuck, had a lot of, of steals on our players, and then transition buckets that was just. She still didn't go lay it up. We could catch her. That's it. It's good. Probably the first sign that I had that we were going to be in a war was how they came out and just, just got up in us man to man. And nobody had really done it. Two corners 